20 years ago, the European Union launched the first civilian CSDP mission. It was already 20 years ago that we started this work. And since then, we have deployed 23 civilian missions on three continents. Through this mission, more than 15,000 men and women have served in these missions. And through these missions, we have a train and advise police, judiciary, and border guards. We have uh, monitored ceasefires or advise our partners on security sector reform. We have contributed to the stability of our partners, but also to our own security and stability back at home. We know that our strategic environment is worsening and the threats we are facing are evolving very fast. And we have to adapt permanently to a changing situation. When we draft the strategic compass, the member states committed to adopt a new civilian CSDP compact, and that's what we are presenting here today. We have undertaken 20 new commitments to make our missions more effective, more flexible, and more robust. We are defining concrete objectives and deliverables with specific timelines. First, we need to act, and to act in a more rapid manner, rapid and flexible manner. We have to secure our citizens and the citizens of our partner countries. We have to increase our resilience against hybrid and cyber threats. We have to invest in personnel, in equipment, in training, on doing exercises. And we have to work with our partners around the world. It is a plan for action. And this plan for action has the commitment of all member states and European Union institutions. This is a necessary investment for the European Union. This allows us to be present in many places in the world where our flag and our people brings a light of hope, preserving peace and protecting the most vulnerable, giving security to our partners and building also in our own security.